Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am doing an unboxing for you guys. Uh, we got the BoxyCharm by Ipsy Boxes. Now, where did my other box go? I'm so sorry, I'm already starting off a hot mess. So we got our PR versus our paid box. Um, I haven't really done Battle of the Boxes in a minute and I thought it would be really, really fun. I also do have my Ipsy Glam bag and my Icon box to box for you guys, to unbox for you guys. <laughs> but that will be in another video. So meanwhile, we're going to see which one's better. So we're going to start off with our PR box. Once again, the packaging is very, very slim to none. Um, so the very first item, I don't want a box to be in the way. All right, so the very first item is... Ooh, okay, this is a liquid liner from Sigate London, and this is a black liquid liner. I feel like I've gotten this before. I don't remember if this has been my BoxyCharm or my Ipsy or my Fab Fun. There's really no telling, um, but I have gotten this before, and I don't remember if I liked it or not. I'm going to have to do some digging, see if I still have it, and if I do, then obviously I loved it. Uh, <laughs> so I'm always glad to test out new liners. Um, they're really, really fun and uh, liquid liners are my favorite. So, uh, that is nice. The next item is from a state, the most wanted liquid lip balm. Okay. And the shade cuffed, little cute packaging, just tube. I thought this was going to be different. Okay, so. Oh, it smells like. I can't, I can't put my finger on it, but it, it has like a little sweet smell to it. But just a clear balm. Okay. I mean, you can't, can't go wrong with that. What is, gosh, I can't, I can't put my hand on that scent. Is that, I wonder if that's supposed to be like that or if it was. Or if it's bent so maybe it's supposed to be like that <laughs> but uh, hmm, we'll give this a test out I do like lip balms um, lip glosses those are like my favorite go-to's uh, I'm actually wearing Akaja Beauty's uh, lip gloss on right now uh, in the shade O2 sweet talker and I really actually like these because it has a little heart here and you just like pump it up <laughs> and the color is really really pretty it just gives me like that hint of color love that um, but clear is good I can always use a clear gloss to or lip balm to kind of go over uh, so yeah I'll be testing that out the next item is from Murad this is the essential C toner I actually really enjoy Murad uh, facial care I think they're it's really really nice I don't think I've actually tried this one before so I'm super excited that this is in here um, let's see. So this is a refreshing pH balanced toner with vitamins A, C, and E. Energizes and re-helps remove impurities to prepare skin for treatments that follow. Very nice. That is a huge bottle. A little bit, I'm sure, is going to go a long way. So this is going to last quite a while. That's exciting. I like that this is in here. The next item is a perfume. I, I think that's kind of brave putting a perfume in because you don't know if it is going to work for everybody. You know, everybody likes different things, different scents. Um, so this is the Gloss Modern Clean Luxury Perf uh, Perfume Oil. So let's see what this one smells like. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of that. It smells like potpourri. <laughs> Like my grandma's potpourri. Mmm. But it could just be me. I mean, this could smell really, really good to somebody else. Just, um, mmm, not me. You know, I actually have some potpourri on my kitchen table that doesn't smell good anymore. I could rub this all over it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, not a fan of that one. That's kind of a pass for me. And then the last item, ooh, I was excited about this, you guys. Uh, this is from Violet Voss. This is their Ber uh, Berries and Cream Dreams palette. <sighs> I love when I get eyeshadow palettes. It makes me so freaking happy. Um, and then, of course, purples and berries are like, oh, I love it. 
All right, so this is the packaging, very sleek, simple, to the point, and oh my goodness, look at the shades. They are so pretty. Oh, they're so pretty. I love it. Love it. Okay, let's do some swatches. I see the pinks. Um, so we're going to do the berry champagne, the blushing berry, which these are pink. These aren't really berry, but that's okay. The glam berry. Now that is berry. And let's do, let's do big, dream, dreamy berry. <laughs> okay, so these are the shades. Super, super pretty. Oh, Ooh, oh, that's, that's so pretty. That'd be perfect for Valentine's Day. It's pink with perfect amount of sparkle in it. Oh, I love that berry shade. No, no, I see the difference, but it's definitely kind of close. No, 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 it's just me. Okay. <laughs> Those are really pretty, you guys. Oh, I love that. Look how pretty. I cannot wait to play in that palette. It's been a while since I've played, and that's definitely going to be the palette to get me to do so. Okay, so that was it for our PR box. Let's go straight to the box that I got this month with my own money. The very first item is another toner. Love it. Uh, I would definitely keep this as a backup. We have another uh, liquid liner from Seagate London. So since I do have one already from my PR box, I'm going to put this in a giveaway. Um, so that's going to be exciting. The next item, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, it's from El Maquillage. I think that's how you say it. Um, they have like one of my favorite mascaras ever. <laughs> um, but this is the Lip Service High Shine Lip Glaze in the shade PDA, number 574. I have not tried lip products from them, so this is actually really exciting. Ooh, so fancy. It's like, it's really heavy. <laughs> this feels expensive. Um, oh gosh, okay. What did I say, it was a gloss? I think it's a gloss. Yeah, High Shine Lip, Glo lip Glaze. Oh, it smells like candy. Like a, mm, I don't know how to describe it. It's just, it smells so freaking good. Oh, and it's like a peachy pink, mostly peach. That's pretty. That is like right up my alley. That is something I will wear. I love it. I love it. Oh, maybe I should take off what I'm wearing and put this on. Let's do that. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. Love it. Okay. That, that makes me so happy. That's like, that's great. I love it. Okay. Uh, moving on. The next item we have is a lip liner, something I really don't use. Um, and this is from Elena Badrow. Okay. Let's see what color it is first. Oops, didn't mean to tear the box. So if I put this in a giveaway, I'm sorry in advanced. Advanced. I'm sorry in advance. So lip liner pink cupcake. That's like a plummy nude. It's a really pretty color actually. Mmm. Mm-mm. -mm -mm. If I had, oh my gosh, you guys, I don't know if you can see, that is a beautiful shade. I wish this was just like a lipstick instead of a lip liner, which I mean, no, technically I could put it all over my lips, but um, I have to think about this one to use or try to use or just give it away. I'll have to think about that, but that is such a beautiful color. And then the last item is from Seate London. This is the Brazilian Glow Eye and Face Palette. Okay. I do have a highlighter of theirs that I use a lot. Um, so this is the packaging right here. Very simple. Oh, it's so pretty. 
very simple like on the go palette. So you have your highlighter, you have your, I guess this would be blush. Yes, blush, highlighter, eyeshadow, eyeshadow, a bronzer. So this is supposed to be, that's supposed to be a bronzer. That's not dark enough even for me to be a bronzer. <laughs> that's okay, you could use it as an eyeshadow. Um, wait, one, two, three, wait. So, wait. One, two, three. One, two, one, two. One, two, three. So this is supposed to be a face perfector. A sheer glow face perfector. Okay. And then the, the blush, the bronzer, the highlighter, and the eyeshadows. So I get where they were going with this. I think it kind of missed the mark just a tiny, tiny bit. Um, because that looks more like a peachy color than a bronzer. And I don't want to plain it because I might give it away. That blush looks really, really pretty though. And I like that you can, I mean, technically, well, no, I don't know. I feel like we could have done away with this and had like two matte shades. Um, one to make like a darker evening look if you needed to or an outer corner rather than just one light matte, matte shade with two shimmers. Like I said, you could use this, but these are kind of like similar in color, or at least in the pan they are. Um, I don't know. That one kind of missed the mark for me, you guys. What do you think? I don't know. What do you think? Am I overthinking this? But that... That, those look almost almost alike, like a, a smidge difference. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and pass this on. Just because it's not my cup of tea doesn't mean that it's not gonna be somebody else's. So I'm gonna put this in a giveaway. Um, but what do we think? Did my PR package win or did my regular box win? I don't know, I'm kind of tied because I did get a lot of the products that I enjoy in both of the boxes. Um, obviously the palette I preferred in my PR box, but we got this beautiful like gloss that I am just living for. Like I think I'm gonna wear this to work tomorrow. It is so nice and pretty. <laughs> I can see this living in my purse. So I don't know, I think they're probably, they're, they're equally, like, equally good in my book. So uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I would love to know. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.